you know, I can't believe these folks really truly believe after they have destroyed this earth, they're going to go somewhere else and destroy that place too. You know, I've been hearing a lot of chatter about the moon lately as if they're going to make it there and start living there. Y'all ain't going nowhere. There is not going to be no living on the moon. There's not going to be any rapture. You know, a couple of years back, I heard about real estate being sold on the moon. They were buying land on the moon. Y'all get all that fantasy out of your head. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going to be raptured away. And there is not going to be no life for you on no moon. You ain't going to be living no life up there. So NASA quietly training robot dogs to navigate the landscape of the moon. Isn't it may around the eclipse had one talking about putting a train up on the moon? <laughs> you idiots, man. For real. So uh, this is what these researchers are doing. You know, they are using these robo dogs as a possibility of putting up on the moon. And wow. Mm -hmm. This is what they really believe. So they are training and they have a project called the Legged Autonomous Surface Science in analog environments, Lassie is designed to teach the robot to adapt to its varying environment in real time with the goal of eventually having it traverse the surface of the moon and perhaps even in other words, um, go to other worlds in our solar system. So y'all want to just taint up everything, huh? Ah, I guess the earth was not enough for you. So this is happening and they claim that they have received a grant for $2 million to help the agency develop these robo dogs to walk the surface of the moon once there the idea is to have these robo dogs teach each other how to adapt in the environment for instance by warning others of nearby hazards they would sense how the ground conditions are and then exchange that information with one another and collectively form a map of locomotion risk estimation. The team of robots then would be used to traverse a risk map to inform their planetary explorations. There is an extremely soft sand patch that might be a high risk for wielded rovers and they said it might be safer for these robo dogs to go in those areas. Mm -hmm. You know, after the eclipse, I did see an article saying that there would be a race to the moon with all of these different countries trying to get to the moon. Do y'all think this is an escape? So the robo dog is the test dummy to put up there to see how well it does. These people ain't going to make it up on the moon. They are barely hanging on with the sun beaming down on them every day. How are they going to make it up on the moon, y'all? How? How? <laughs> Seriously. So the researchers are also looking far beyond simple four-legged robo-dogs by applying the same research to wheeled robots and ones with six legs. So the Lassie team is now looking to let it off the leash in the white sands in national parks in uh, New Mexico. So I guess 
that national park of white sands is similar to the moon, I guess, to them. So one step closer to taking one giant leap for mankind. Really? I don't know, y'all. I, I don't think this is going to work. You know, one thing, I guess them folks think that we only observe anything successful. Well, trust me, we have observed your flops too. <laughs> and we that's why we know you're full of crap. And you putting robo dogs up there and buying real estate on the moon and all this uh, it, to me is a bunch of fantasy talk the closest your elites are going to come to the moon is those holes they got in the ground called their bunkers you know that's about as close to a moon they're going to ever get and your rapture your rapture is going to look just like planet earth because <laughs> you're going to still be here I guess, y'all, I guess they got these fantasies they're trying to live out, even if it's through NASA, and I think it's all BS. I really do. But you're going to have to tell me what you think about this fantasy of them putting these robo-dogs up on the moon, you know, for a possibility of one day being able to live up there because, I guess, all they got on their mind now is how can we escape this judgment that's coming, that they are very aware that's coming. So what can we do? What can we do? What can we do to get out of this whole thing? We got to get out of it. We got to see our way out. Yeah, whatever. No, you are definitely going through that judgment, especially if we went through ours. There is no escaping at all. I guess you should have been better to us when you had the chance. But y'all, please tell me what you think and let me know what you think about uh, a robo dog being tested by a NASA. <laughs> please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.